All right, so this problem we're going to solve for x plus y, and we're told that x and y are both positive integers, and that we have the equation x plus xy plus y is 54. So um, one strategy is to start off by factoring out the x here. So we would get x times 1 plus y plus y equals 54. And then here we have a one plus y. So what we can do is then add one to each side of the equation. So we would get x times one plus y plus y plus one equals 54 plus one. Then we have a you know a group of y plus one here, and then we can actually then always you know as you understand this can be um, multiplied by one. You can create this quantity, so then we could have x plus one times y plus one on the left is equal to fifty five, and then we really just have two factors that multiply to fifty five. And since we're told that they have to be positive integers, then we know that we're basically looking for factors of, you know, 1 and 55 or like 5 and 11. Because those are the only positive integers that will multiply to get 55. And so you either have that x plus 1 equals 5 and that y plus 1 equals 11. That's one possible solution set. Or you could have that the other way around, basically. You could have that it's um, x plus 1 is 11, and that y plus 1 is 5. Solving this for x and y, we would have that x is 4, and that y is 10. And solving this would it would just be the other way it would just be the other other way around it'd be that x is ten and y is four. But it actually doesn't matter because um, remember that since we're looking for x plus y, it doesn't matter which 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 solution you have because four plus ten is the same as four plus ten, in both. So we have x plus y is 4 plus 10, which is then equal to 14. And that's your answer. All right, so I hope that helps. Um, help me out by subscribing and giving me some feedback. And, you know, give me a like if you like it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.